Welcome to the Card Life YouTube channel. My name is Rich and I'm the lead designer of Card Life, a brand new video game about bringing your creations to life in a beautifully procedural cardboard world. And if you haven't already, you should check out our free little tech demo that we've just released over on our website, cardlifegame.com. So I wanted to make this video to show you a few hints and tips regarding our cardboard building mechanic, so I hope this helps. So if we just quickly swap to the piece of card using the number two key, the first thing to note is that you can place card directly in the air, and this is really handy for making stairs or platforms. Now if you decide you want to remove those pieces of card for whatever reason, you can simply right click and delete them. To create larger pieces of card, you can simply hold down the left mouse button and drag in a direction. You can drag in any direction and you can also move and drag if you want finer grain control. This is really helpful if you want to make the foundation of a house or you want to make walls. You can also build slopes using the mouse wheel. It rotates at 22.5 degrees and allows you to quickly make slopes. This is really helpful if you want to have a slope up to a tall piece of building, if you want to add a roof or continue making second or third floors. You probably noticed by now that card also snaps to other pieces of card. Essentially the piece of card you are holding will always try to orientate its edge to other pieces of card, including the ground. So you can see here that it's orientating to the ground, and then as, as I add a piece of card, it will then orientate to the face. It will also orientate to the edge, but one thing to note is that if you add pieces of card to here, it will add two pieces, so you can simply do, right click and delete, and they will treat them as two pieces of card. But if you do add pieces of card to the edge, it creates a seamless addition. Now this is really powerful if you want to make something that looks really nice and seamless, but it does treat this as one piece of card, so be aware that when you right click it will remove it all, as, all at once. We do look to improve this in the future when we add further updates. So when creating something more complex you might want to intersect the card, and that is simply easy as, as dragging and pulling it through. If you are unhappy with your results and you don't want to simply delete it, you can switch to the saw tool and trim off the edge. Like so. This gives you really nice corners for houses or anything that you want to build. Another thing to note though is that if you do drag a piece of card down and you drag it below the floor, as you can see by the white line disappearing, if you only cut to the surface, it will keep both pieces of card. So this is quite flexible, but also confusing if you didn't realize it from the get-go. So you can see here, I can trim this piece of card. One last thing that I'd like to show you is filling. So if I add some holes here and I was unhappy with those, let me just remove that piece, and I wanted to fill them back in rather than actually do my creation, I can simply target the edge and fill it in and it will treat it again as a single piece of card so you can reset. So I hope you enjoyed my little video. Uh, like I said at the start, if you haven't already, please check out our first little tech demo at cardlifegame.com and try and make something. Here's something that I put together quite simply, a little castle. Uh, it was from an old game that I used to play and uh, I used it as ref and I, I really enjoyed it so I can build my stairs and my ramparts. So I hope you have a, enjoyed this video and have a great day and uh, I'll see you on the Card Life forums. Thank you.